we have located a possible body and it's right next to the vehicle. We found a vehicle, I know that, but right beside it, I think we found a, 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 a body. What do you think, Ronnie, after seeing what you've seen? Um, yeah. Um, that's 100% a vehicle. I know. What's going on, divers? This is Jake from the Chaos Divers. We got Ronnie with Brothers Underwater Recovery. What's going we're, on, guys? We're here in Rock River in Rockford, Illinois. We are currently looking for Patrick Rahm. This river is going at a pretty good click. What we're gonna have is we're gonna have the search team on this island, this is Montague Island. We're gonna have them search some different areas over on here where it's kind of eddied out. We're gonna have them searching on that backside over by the walk bridge. So what we got is a fast river. There's gonna be a lot of a lot of strainers, a lot of places that we're gonna have to search. This is a shallower river. We definitely have our hands full today, but we are going to do the best that we can do and hopefully we can uh, we can find Patrick. The only thing I've got is when we get in the water, figure out how deep it is. If we got any deep holes out here, any eddies, we'll be sure to search all them. Any piled up brush, trees, caught, you know, anything like that, we're, we're going to definitely check those out. There's going to be quite a few spots in here. Yeah. So. All right, guys. This is Kathy. This is Patrick's mother. We're here for her today, trying to find her son. What we, what we were talking about just a second ago was I'm going to have the search team over here on this island. It's Montague Island from the entry point, which his house is in that direction, correct? Yeah, on the other side over there. Okay. Okay. So we're going to take and check from from the dam all the way down to here, and where this this. Um, Eddie's out on that side of the main island. We're gonna search all of that area, and then we're gonna hit the other islands with the search team. We're also gonna be sonaring from the pillars on this land bridge and the dam on the top. Is there a certain spot that you would like me to check? Have you looked, you know, looking at the map, have you seen some spots that you want us to check first? Really, no, because you know, he's, he's already been missing this long. He could be anywhere. And I'm concerned of the islands because maybe he's caught up underneath something somewhere. I don't know, not so necessarily, you know, in that area, that water's been so, I mean, like whirlpool. It's just horrible. Um, he could be anywhere. We're gonna do our best to search this area to the fullest from way down south to up here. And okay. we're going to search every every little bit that's eddying out, like this, like including this this bridge type stuff, just wherever it could catch up on things. We're going to search and make sure that there's nothing in those okay. areas. Okay. Did you look to see, you know, in the by the dam area? I mean, doesn't it look very shallow? I mean, would, would that be impossible? <laughs> So we haven't actually laid eyes on it. I, I just thought parts of it were just kind of, you know, someone said something about the rocks, that there were a lot of rocks over there. But you know what, just, I walked that walking bridge and I walked the Morgan's Creek Bridge and it's, the water's just all over. It just, this is nothing. This is what it was before. I'm wondering if we shouldn't drive up there and actually That's look at it. That's what I'm thinking. <clears throat> Instead of just boating up there, I think we need to drive up there. If she's saying it's whirlpooling around like that, then... We'll make the decision on getting the boat up there. I'll just detach the trailer and take take Lindsay's truck and we'll drive up there to look at it. You may not be able to get your boat in there. I mean, I hate to see it for safety reasons and already, buddy. It's really weird. It's different than what you see here. When you're there, you'll see a whirlpool here and then you see a whirlpool over here and then, you know, the water's different on running over here. You know, it's just it's really odd. Okay. I really want to check, make sure. Yeah, we can get in like a foot of water. If we have to. I, I want to make for sure that, that that's not a possibility. Were you guys setting up a canopy at all? Uh, no, we won't have a canopy at all. Okay. Um, you know, if we have to use it, we'll, you know. That's fine. We got food and drinks, water, cookies. Cookies? Chips. Oh, hell yeah. 
<laughs> We're in the bakery department. Come on. Oh, are you? <laughs> All right, Kathy. Hi. We'll be. Uh, get set up thank you so much all right with that being said guys we're gonna we're gonna drive up and check out the the low head dam up there and make sure that i think that would be smarter i mean if it's <clears throat> if it's shallow back but it's deep toward then that might be you know a possibility, a possibility. So. all right guys so this is dakota he's going to be one of the island searchers we have Taylor over here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna drop him off, or them off on this island. You see the island that you guys yeah. have to search? On the front part of it is where I want you to really, really be concerned about because where that river's flowing, it's kind of, you know, if he is, he can be adjusted over to the left and be in that structure over there. So just look at, all your strainer, all your brush anything piles. Got brush piles, anything has got logs piled on top of each other. Check it all out. Check them all out. Check them around them. So. What we're looking at here, guys, is Kathy was absolutely right. This area over here is way too dangerous for anybody to get in. For the small boat, I'm going to say... Uh, yeah, it's going to be an absolute nightmare. So, Ronnie, the decision is, has been made that we are going to go downstream on that. There's no, no way of being able to get a boat in there and be actually safe. No. And safety is our number one concern, guys. We have to put ourselves, our safety first. It sucks. That's the way it is. And from looks of it, if and it's it's shallow, so if he'll, somebody he'll, was to jump in there, I believe they would go on down. He would have been pushed down. So we're gonna we're gonna concentrate on the islands. So what we got guys is we're going to, we uh, thought we had a, a target that we were searching. It turns out that there's just an abnormality in the water. We're gonna put the boat in, start searching. You see in the water. It's a Montague Island. Oh. We searched a little bit around the front part of it where all the log jams are. So we got that out of the way. We are gonna have searchers coming up. Kyle's putting them in right now. I'm searching around this eddy line just to make sure that there's um, no catches around here caught under. I've searched this over here. I'm gonna try to get in the front section here shortly. I just wanted to get through and make sure that I've got the best angle possible. See, I can see those logs right there. I don't see anything of interest there. I don't need to go down that river. <laughs> no. go ahead and look let them see what we're looking at here so we're gonna go by this area again we're gonna go downstream a little bit that's what I'm seeing the ground is pretty solid um, there's not really much debris inside of here and that's a good thing that makes our job a little easier that's what I didn't want to do that's what I didn't want to happen yeah we didn't want rapids that's what I didn't want to happen. We're good though. So we're not going back through there. Okay. It's really shallow. We're going to go up and try to get on the back side of these pillars. So we'll see you in a little bit. It's, a, it's not a spot where I want to record. So we're going to shut it off and uh, yeah, it's going to be a little dangerous. Hey, Ronnie, aren't you glad that I'm a whitewater kayaker? Um, yeah. So what um, we're doing guys is we're fighting the current all the way and we're turning over. I don't want to go straight for it because uh, we're going to go down that creek if I do. The water is, it's moving. I'm trying to catch that eddy. You see where it goes into the eddy? Yep. I'm trying to catch that. Right so. over there, guys. All right, now we're actually in a calmer spot. 
Shoo! Hey, there's a big plane. That was a squirrel moment, wasn't it, Ronnie? It was for both of us, because I actually filmed it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. This is way, 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 way too shallow. Um, I do want to try over on this spot over here, though. That was a puckering experience. Yes, it was. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm going to, that's, that's a family friendly. Yeah. Word. Word. <laughs> puckering. Yep. Experience. So we are recording every bit of this and I will be reviewing it at the hotel this evening, Ronnie and I, because me trying to mess with the current is definitely something that is trying. It is an experience for sure. Um, this is probably the fastest river that I've been in so far. So uh, we're going to continue this search around here. Pretty well covered here, but yeah. you guys want to see? Let me see what this looks like right around in this area. There's a lot of rock formations. You can see the depth, you can see behind it. Water column right here, all these rocks, the shadows, the holes. What I'm looking for is a, a, a body figure of some abnormality that will can resemble Patrick. So if he's in here, this sonar will find him. On it, Ronnie. All right, guys, what's fixing to happen is we took a little break to uh, let things unpucker. We're gonna go upstream. If you wanna pan over that way underneath that bridge, that is pretty uh, pretty wicked, but we're gonna try to get into the next creek up from the creek that we're in right now. So, uh, wish us luck and I'll see you on the next creek. We tried getting past that bridge. We decided, Ronnie and I decided that it was too much, not for this boat, but it was too shallow. We are going down through here and searching this walk bridge through here, each pillar upstream around this, where this water has been pushing. Right against the bank. And guys, when I tell you that this current is kicking, it was kind of, I mean, it, it's going. So what I'm doing... Okay, we're just sitting still right now. Look at that. All right, so what I'm doing right now is I'm just gradually going over, and then I'm going to start going up. What we're looking at right here. There's Ronnie. Guys, if you haven't checked him out, check him out at Brothers Underwater Recovery, please. We are both in this and both puckered right now. But, you know, hey. It is what it is. It is what it is. We're going to do it. And uh, that's all we got to say about that, right? That's right. Okay. So we're going to continue with the search and uh, we'll see you here shortly. Wings of Hope has found an object in the water. We're going to check it out, see what we see. All right, guys. So we're in the upper part of the dam. We're going to be searching this area. We'll be concentrating more on the bridge pillars and underneath these bridges. His house is about five blocks south of us. So that's what we're gonna do. And uh, five blocks south and then three in. Well, yeah, his house, but what I'm just talking about toward the water. We're gonna get on this upper part of the dam and see if we can find anything. So just, uh, we're gonna put in and get ready to go. So, you good with it? I'm good with it, let's do it. So we are at the location of the bridge right before the dam. The signs say turn back now. We're not going to. We're going to search down here. We're going to search this bridge. I feel comfortable enough. It will be fine.
bunch of junk underneath there. Crystal clear, guys. I'm going to tell you, from what I see right now, I don't see anything other than just tires. I see a rock ledge right here, or right, well, back air. Five. And we're going to go back through the same place. Not through the same place, but through the different building. I'm sorry? Can you get in? No, uh, no, no, buddy, you can't get in. Uh, because you can't. He asked if he can get in. I said, no. <laughs> he said, why? I said, because you can't. He said, why? <laughs> it's like three times. You can see the lines. You can see the lines of where the waves have moved the, the sand. That mic's not working. Okay. Yeah, you can see the lines of where the sand's been moving with the current. The little waves of sand. It's really, it's really actually neat. Um, Is that why they call us chaos divers? Because we're crazy? Probably. We're gonna just slalom through these bridge pillars here. Oh my gosh, it, that's what it is. It drops, see that? It drops from 12 feet to like 17 feet right there. Oh wow. There's a couple sticks, a couple trees. Looks like a ladder. Ladder's right there. Somebody dropped a daggum ladder in here. Probably come off that highway. No, uh, I'd say it probably come off that walk bridge. Or that walk bridge, yeah, somebody dropped the ladder. Somebody probably working up there or something. Up there. Changing out light bulbs or something and fell off. I mean, the ladder the fell ladder, off. Hopefully, yeah. Am I uh, in danger? Am I in danger? No. Oh, you know if you was, I'd tell you. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'd be in danger too. <laughs> um, I figure I might have found a car. I don't know how the side rails are, but I figure I might find a car. And eh, it's no cars. No cars in here. It's a good thing. No boats. There's a ladder. Street. Do that. I'm not going past no. another bridge. You can you can forget that. No. I'm crazy, but I ain't stupid. Well, some people might argue that. I <laughs> uh, don't like that anyway. <laughs> <laughs> we made it, didn't we? Oh yeah. You weren't scared, were you? Not at all. I was. A little bit. I was. So we're gonna go down the next bridge, search that. All right, guys, we found a vehicle in here. That is a vehicle. Um, that's 100% a vehicle. I know. 100%. I know. I think right. we need to dive it clear. Because uh, that's right off the road right there. Yeah, yeah, possible. Come right off that, right off that hill right there. Could have. Off the hill right in here, loaded down, and stopped right there. Yep. Are we 100% sure he didn't have a vehicle? Went right over top of it, it's at 11 feet. 20 feet, 20, 30 feet. To look when we go past it, I'm going to tell you when we pass it. You see where that? You see where that swirl is? Swirl is? Yep. It's probably where it's at. Yeah, right? that's about where you said you went right over it. So I want you to look at that spot. We are passing over it right now. Right, even with that bench. Right, even with that bench right up there. Right behind. Right in, where that in, be, is. in between that buoy and that bench. So now I'm going to get out further. Yeah see if we can't get a lock on it yeah a side this, view a side view on this side then I'm going to go ahead we found a vehicle I know that but right beside it I think we found a, 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 a body I, I really do um, 
what do you think, Ronnie, after seeing what you've seen? Um, yeah. So what we're going to do is you, we're uh, going to call late, or, uh, Lindsay and have the other dive boat come up here. And we are going to, uh, we're going to dive it. We're going to clear the vehicle. We're going to clear what's right next to the vehicle. Um, I'm going to go take another pass through on recording. And we're going to um, confirm it. Sorry? Confirm it. We're going to confirm it again. For sure. It's actually, if it was coming from upriver, coming down, it would be right before the car. Correct? Yeah. Yeah. This way. And I'm going to get a definite going this direction on this side. Okay. That is probably the best picture that I will ever have of this vehicle. It's got a sunroof. It's got an object beside it again. Okay, let's meet back up with Ringo and uh, let's make some phone calls. Seven, 28 feet from my boat out here. I need my trailer. And all of our stuff and all of our stuff, like everything. Like just throw it into the trailer and bring it over. Where am I at? We are at State Street Bridge. State Street Bridge. It'll be... Yes. Yes, yes you do. Yes. ASAP, Lindsay. We are, we have located a vehicle. We have located a possible body, and it's right next to the vehicle, right in front of it, okay? Possible. Wings of Hope, dive team. Wings of Hope, dive team. All right, guys, so what we're going to get ready to do, Ronnie, what I'm going to get, what we are getting ready to do is we're going to go back out. We're going to get a tight line from the car to the shore. We're gonna dive off the shore, tight line all the way to the truck, to the car. car. Okay, this tight line is gonna be your lifeline to go through there, and all you're gonna do is just come through. We're gonna, so we can uh, clear that vehicle and clear what's beside it. Absolutely. All right, let's get her done. So, all of our stuff is behind the protest. There's my dad, there's all, this, all the people. And there's a protest in front of it. Let's just, uh, let's just hope it stays peaceful. 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 Peaceful, guys. All right, we got the other search team, Wings of Hope, with us. Just let it, just let it spin around when we grab a hold of it. Could it be any better than that. It's a gorgeous dock. Yeah, that, we got a problem. What? Tie off in another spot that's loose. going to have a line on it we're going to get ready to go and put the line on it we're going to put a grappling hook we're going to bring it to the shore we're going to make sure that that is secured on something three different ways to the shore tight line it and we will dive to it then to it then right in front of it on this side is where that vehicle uh, where that object is so it's a point of reference and that's what we're gonna use it on. So, need the equipment down over there by the second buoy.
tangled up in that line trying to find it again. I'm going to go upstream. I'm going to hold pressure. You guys find the vehicle? Give me a tug. Give me two tugs. Vehicle. Vehicle. Two tugs. Three. You know what three is? No. Nope. Okay. Get my ass out of here. Turn your lights on before you go underwater. Huh? Turn your lights on before you go. Oh! You don't want to do that. <laughs> yeah. My bad. Stay on this side of the line. Yeah. Okay? I'm not going to go upstream because I don't want you crossing over that line with me holding it. What is up with you two? <laughs> Both of you shining right in my eyes. <laughs> I got to be able to see. Need somebody to hold that rope for Ronnie. I'll get, get to the vehicle. I want you to stay on the vehicle, okay? Check around it, check underneath the pull, or check beside it. Where'd that rope go? Let's let it go. I'll take care of the top portion of it, okay? Thank you.